Did y'all know that brown rice has way more arsenic than white rice? According to Consumer Reports, it's about 80% more. Well, to me, that is definitely a concern as an Asian American in for 76% of my community. And also, I love brown rice because it's so nutritious. The great news is there is a way to significantly reduce the amount of arsenic in brown rice. According to the Whole Grains Council, they cited a study that can reduce the amount of arsenic by 54% following a few steps. So that's what we'll figure out today so we can continue to reap the health benefits of brown rice. You deserve to be happy and healthy. Hey folks, Joyce here, Certified Health and Nutrition Coach. This channel is for people who want to start or refresh their healthy habits. So if you're interested in doing just that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and watch all the way to the end for bonus tips. Now let's figure out how to reduce the amount of arsenic in brown rice using an Instapot. I've been experimenting with Japanese and Korean food lately for AAPI month. So I have a lot of brown sushi rice in my pantry. So that's what we'll be cooking today. Cup and a half. This will yield about three cups. Rinse it out three times until water runs clear. Although brown rice absorbs more of the naturally occurring arsenic found in soil and water than white rice, the health benefits still outweigh these risks. Now, the community that's most vulnerable to brown rice consumption is pregnant women. So according to Cleveland Clinic, they need to be more mindful of their consumption. Dry the bottom of the Instapot with a rag and put it back in pot. Add about six times the water. I added about eight cups of water. Now I'm turning on the saute function and we're going to wait for this mixture to steam and then we'll do a countdown. Brown rice is so much more nutritious than white rice. Take a look at this nutrient breakdown from the Whole Grains Council. Brown rice has over 50% more B vitamins, magnesium, potassium, fiber, as well as folate. These are all really helpful for heart and mental health, as well as women's health. Now that it's boiling, we're going to count down for five minutes. Stir it up just a little bit. All right, it's been about five minutes. And we're gonna turn off the saute function. And we'll carefully remove the inner pot from the Instapot. Okay, we're gonna drain the rice into this strainer. Rinse off this rice. So this process is basically parboiling the brown rice. And again, this process reduces the amount of arsenic by 54%. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. And we're going to clean it out. Not sure if you can tell, but there's residue in the inside and we're gonna try to remove all that. Great, now that the inner pot is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice back. Now remember that we started off with one and a half cups of dry brown rice. So we're actually adding a cup and a quarter of water, so that's a quarter less of water and it's really important not to have the same ratio of water and brown rice after it's parboiled otherwise it's going to be too mushy and just like after we rinse the rice let's make sure we dry the inner pot very well before we put it back in the instapot let's just make sure that the rice is completely submerged in the water and no rice is on the sides of the inner pot. Great. Now we can close the lid 
Make sure that the sealing handle is on sealing. Let's manually turn on the pressure cook. Turn off the keep warm setting. Make sure that the pressure level is on high and increase the time to 15 minutes. While we're waiting for the brown rice to cook, I want to let you know there are two additional ways to reduce the arsenic in rice, whether it's brown or white, according to the Dartmouth Toxic Super Fun Research Program. The first one is the location of where the rice is grown. So choose rice grown in California, India, or Pakistan. The second way is the type of rice. So choose basmati or sushi rice. Now that the cooking time is done, we'll let the rice sit for 10 minutes and then release the steam valve manually. It's been about 10 minutes. Now it's time to release the pressure. The float valve should go down any minute. There you go. That's how you know it's safe to open the lid. Let's take a look. Voila, there is our brown rice. Hopefully y'all can see that through the steam. And we're just going to stir it up like so to release the excess steam that's in here. Looking good. Parboiling brown or white rice can really reduce the amount of arsenic, but I know this could be a lot for some of y'all. So it's okay to use pre-parboiled rice or instant rice that comes in a package. Although it's more processed, it is safer and a time saver. Or you can skip the rice all together and swap it out with a gluten-free whole grain like buckwheat, farro or quinoa. There's so many alternatives, it's all up to you. So why am I going through all this trouble just to cook brown rice? Well, according to the consumer reports, regular exposure to arsenic at low levels can still increase your chance for getting lung, bladder, skin cancer, as well as heart disease and type two diabetes. This is a very important topic for me to talk about because of my Asian roots and also USA Rice has found that more Americans are consuming Asian food. So that could translate to more consumption of rice, okay? So I am looking out for my non-Asian folks who love Asian food. So if y'all have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. See y'all next week. And remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy.